welcome to this video where we're going to discuss one of these descendants of Japheth. How are you finding the shorter videos with the background music? I want to explain soon why we starting to do some more of those videos, but not in this one. Let's get to the content first. So I wanted to do a video about Kittim, son of Jovan, but I couldn't do it in one of those short videos with the background music because it's not straightforward and I think we need to try and go through it together. So let's start this video on Kittim, son of Jovan. Let's start with the book of Jasher. Now this is a book from the Apocrypha, but it's very useful for our study because it speaks about the descendants of Noah, but it also connects them with tribes and peoples and nations. And it's very specific for Kittim. So it says, and the children of Kittim are the Romim, so I think this is supposed to be the Romans, who dwell in the valley of Canopia by the river Tibru. Now I couldn't find anything about Canopia. The only thing I can see that's similar in Italy is Campania, but we can identify this just with the river, because in Italy we have the river Tiber. So this is what I think the book of Joshua is speaking about, that the Romans settled by this river Tiber. And the Chronicles of Jeremiel says the same thing. So it's saying Kittim, i.e. the Romans, who dwell in the valley Capania by the river Tiberio. So we're connecting that with the river Tiber. So this is one of the strongest connections we have for the Kittim, and that's with the Roman, yeah, the Roman civilization, so the Romans in Italy. Let's look at Josephus, the work of Josephus. Okay, Josephus about Kittim. Ketimus possessed the island Ketima. It is now called Cyprus. So it's interesting that Josephus connects Kittim with Cyprus, but he doesn't connect them with the Romans. So I was just wondering why, you know, why, do, why, yeah, why doesn't he connect them with the Romans if that could be one of the strongest uh, links? So I just asked the question to see what comes up. So let's read this out. Josephus later joined the Roman forces under the command of Vespasian's son and later successor Titus at the siege of Jerusalem in 70 AD. He attempted to act as mediator between the Romans and the rebels, but hated by the Jews for his apostasy and distrusted by the Romans as a Jew, he was able to accomplish little. So I just thought it would be interesting to learn a bit about Josephus because we do use him a lot on the channel. One of the sources we used quite a lot. So I'm not sure if this could answer that question. You know, why doesn't Josephus connect the Kittim with the Romans? But we can see that he's not, not trusted by either side because of his choices and his actions. So I'm just wondering about his work. Maybe he doesn't want to identify the Romans with the Kittim, you know, for whatever reasons. So I just thought that could be a possible reason. But, you know, this connection with Cyprus, I'm not saying that it's wrong or it's false. That still needs to be investigated. So I'm not saying what he's telling us is not true, but it doesn't tell us about the Romans. And the more like the, the medieval literature, you know, very strongly connects Kittim with Rome. Okay, let's go to the next source. We're going to, again, to the Apocrypha, we're going to 1st Maccabees. And it happened after that Alexander, son of Philip, the Macedonian, who came out of the land of Ketim. Okay, so this is saying that Alexander the Great came out of the land of Ketim. So this is why now we have scholars saying that the Macedonians and the Romans could come out of Ketim. And there's another reference in the book of Maccabees. It speaks about Perseus, king of the Ketims. So this is interesting because if we go to the page on Perseus, we see that it's Perseus of Macedon. So he's king of Macedon. So then why is he being described in Maccabees as the king of the Kittims? So this is why I said we're going to have to go through this because, yeah, it's not straightforward. Okay, so we've got, um, just a bit of a recap quickly, we've got the Kittim connected with the Romans with Rome but now we've also we've seen this connection with 
the Macedonians. But we know that it's saying that Perseus is the king of Macedon. You know, it's not saying that he's the king of the Romans. So why is he being described as the king of the Kittims? And we've also got this other connection with Cyprus from Josephus that we that we've got to think about. Let's try to get a bit of um, a bit of an idea of what this word could mean. So this page Abarim gives us the meaning beaters or pulverizers. So that could be this meaning. That's interesting if you think about you know the Roman Empire and the Romans. Could it be like describing their their character or their nature, that warlike nature? So that's interesting. This one was interesting. Now, it says Macedonia was sometimes called Maketia or Macetia. And they say that this Pacha Setia or Ketia seems to be similar to Kittim. So Macedonia, maybe, uh, could we say like the land of the Ketia or the land of the Ketim? So could that maybe explain why it says that Perseus, the king of Macedon, was king of the Kittims. So that's interesting. And it also goes on to say about this connection with the Romans and the land of the Latins. So it says that, you know, makes it, it makes the connection with the Romans and the Kittim. But it says, this is interesting, it says that even this word Latium might have the same meaning as Kittim, to, uh, meaning to hide. So that's interesting. So let me show you where we're looking. So this highlighted area was known as Latium, or land of the Latins, or the territory of the Romans. And they're saying maybe it could have the same meaning. So Latium and Ketim having the same meaning. So we do ha we seem to have quite strong connections with Rome and the Romans and the Latins for Ketim, son of Javan. And it says here, um, Ketim in the Jerusalem Targum is here called Italy. So, yeah, very interesting so far, but not straightforward because it's this you know, this Macedonian and this Roman being connected with with Kittim that's uh, making it a little bit confusing, and we're gonna have to try. We're gonna have to introduce the Hittites. Now we speak a lot about the Hittites on this channel. Let's see maybe how the Hittites come into this. But before we do that, there's just one more interesting thing here about what Kittim could mean. This is from Jeremiah 2.10. It mentions the Isles of Kittim as the symbol of the west, uh, western extremity of the world. Apparently the Israelites used the name Kittim to include the islands of the Aegean Sea and even the coastal areas of the Mediterranean Sea. So now we're learning that this word Kittim may have been used quite generally or in different ways. So to speak about, you know, isles or islands and maybe even you know, coastlands, coastal areas. But I thought this was interesting how it speaks about it may have been used for the western extremity. That's very interesting for what we've been speaking about on the channel. So, you know, Alexander the Great coming out of the land of Ketim, you know, having this idea of, you know, the west. Well, what about the western extremity of the world? So that's interesting. And Josephus also does support what that was saying. You know, it speaks about that this word Ketim, let me just highlight it for you. And from that, it is that all islands and the greatest part of the sea coasts are named Ketim by the Hebrews. So, the, you know, the greatest part of the sea coast being called Ketim. So I just want to give you my take on this at the mo from where I am at the moment. So I think the strongest connection for Ketim, son of Javan, is with the Romans because it's very specific that it says the children of the Kittim are the Romans. So it's actually speaking about descendants of Kittim. But if we compare that to the connection with Macedonia, or the, yeah, and the Macedonians, it's saying Alexander came out of the land of Kittim. Now that's not saying that he is a descendant of Kittim, he's just coming out of that land. And this one here says Perseus, king of the Kittims. You know, again, it doesn't mean that he has to be descendant of Kittim, he could just be ruling over this region. So I don't think the connection with the Macedonians to Kittim, the son of Javan, is as strong as the connection for the Romans. So that's how I'm 
That's how I'm seeing it at the moment. Now we have to speak about the Hittites. So some scholars connect this um, the Hittites and the Kittim, and we see the similarity here. So we have Kitty for Kittim, and we have Hitti for the Hittites. And then this page you know, speaks about that um, it's not the same. There's a distinction between it. But some it does create confusion because you know scholars see the similarity and they also make connections. Let's have a let's look at an, an example of that. So on this page, Creation Wiki, speaking about Kittim, it even says on here about the the confusion. That's the confusion between the Hittites, also called Kati, and the Kittites, also called Kittim. So it speaks about this confusion, but then I think it adds to the confusion because it does say that the that the Hittites are called the Keto or the Kete, and the Phoenicians called them the the Kat or the Kate. But it then connects the the Kittim with the civilization or this um, people in China. Let me explain this. So we've got the historical name for China that was used in Europe called Kate. And it could be coming from the word Kitan. And yeah, so these people were known as the Kitans. So we see this region here. So the Kitans influencing this name Kate. So the Europeans called this called China Kate, you know, based I think on these people that were there, the Kitans. And this scholars have noticed the similarities with these, you know, with these words because it says that um, let me just go back to that page. The Egyptians called them the Keto or the Kete, and the Phoenicians called them the Kat or the Kate. So we can see how that would, if you try to pronounce that Kate, how it's going to be very similar to this word Kate. But then the page goes on to connect the civilization in China with Kittim, son of Juvan. So it's saying that if we want to try to find Kittim, son of Juvan, we should be looking here. With this, you know, with this Kitans. So that seems to me to be adding to the confusion. So I just want to tell you where I am with this based on the things that I've read. Let me um, show you this one. So the Hittites, the story of a forgotten empire. Let's just quickly read this part. On the Egyptian monuments, now speaking about the Hittites, on the Egyptian monuments they are called Keta, or better, Kata. On those of Assyrian, Kata or Kate, both words being exact equivalents of the Hebrew Keth and Kitty. So now this is saying that you know these words like Keta is coming from Keth, son of Canaan, son of Ham. So now if you look at that Keta, you can see that quite clearly in this part here. So the Ketans or the Ketans. So this is what a lot of scholars um, are using to connect the civilization with the Hittites. So this is the spread of Hittite culture and Hittite peoples. And we did do a video about the, the linguistics of this. One of the scholars um, did a very interesting work trying to look at the languages tracing the Hittites throughout this region with Korea and Japan and this, um, this region as well. We did that in our first series. I might try to get that information back onto the channel maybe next week so that you can also have a look at that if you're interested in this. So I think that's the stronger connection for me from what I've been reading is the Hittites. So the Hittites being the ones influencing this uh, the civilization in China, not Kittim, son of Javan. Just so we can, but I just wanted to show you that because there is confusion out there and now we can start to see why. And it is not, it's not straightforward so you can understand it. But the reason why I wanted to introduce the Hittites in this video, even though it does create a bit of confusion, is because I saw this other work. So it's called the Hittite Empire, comparing Kati and Kittim, their unique, uh, their unique Macedonic origins, history and mythology, Hittite Macedonic vocabulary. So this scholar connecting the Hittites with the Macedonians. So this is interesting because we were saying about our playlist, our playlist, our series, the Roman Empire and the Holy Land. 
that there's going to be two things that we're going to leave well, there's a few things we're going to leave unanswered which is going to be Thrace and Macedon but we did do this video well part 19 and part 20 to explore Thracians to show that we do have lots of interesting avenues for Thrace but what about Macedon and this could be interesting for Macedon that the scholars connecting them with the Hittites and could that maybe explain or could it be connected with this with the with Perseus being said that he's king of the Kittims and also Macedonia sorry um, Alexander the Macedonian coming out of the land of Ketim so I'm just wondering whether the Hittites could be involved in this and also we if we go back to Josephus you know he connects um, Ketimus with Cyprus so this is like, like I was trying to say it's why it's not straightforward this because we know the Romans don't come out of Cyprus and we know the Macedonians don't come out of Cyprus if you think about the history so why are they making this connect, connection with Ketim and Cyprus so not straightforward it could um, it might be the Hittites that are involved in this that could try to help us um, put this together but um, at the moment I want to focus on finishing this uh, this playlist so this will be a little bit of an update for the channel so I wanted to finish the playlist with the, a two-part finale and I'm also making changes to the to the channel so the first playlist that we did trying to locate the descendants of Noah this playlist is supposed to replace it because it is quite similar how we go through these descendants of Noah but not all the information of that first series is, is in this one yet because I tried to condense it I tried to kind of refresh it and to make it maybe easier to follow and also this one started with a question so this playlist was guided with the question had like an end goal so the first playlist we did it kind of evolved naturally and it didn't really have a a direction where it was going so I wasn't happy how the first series ended so that's why I've kind of taken it down but I've been going through it and I can see that there's lots of important information in there that's um, that's now not on the channel so now I need to try get that information back on the channel but I'm trying to think how I can do it where it's going to maybe be interesting and I can try to do it in a new way so that it's interesting also for the for the subscribers that have been on the channel for a while to also watch it and it will be maybe like a new way of presenting it so it's interesting and it could be um, that you enjoy watching it even though it's kind of the old information but maybe you'd like refreshed just so you have an idea of what's happening on the channel um, so we're going to try to finish this with two videos but like we said we're leaving a few things unanswered but we do have some very interesting avenues and the project is kind of you know expanding there's lots of different uh, yeah it's a lot of work and a lot of research that needs to keep going to try um, you know answer those things that we we've left open and also some new things that we are coming across now this one could be this one could be very interesting with the Hittites and the Macedonians who are the Macedonians so I'm just going to finish with that for this video that in my opinion from what I've been learning the Kittim seem to be quite clearly connected with the Romans but I don't think that the Macedonians are as clearly connected with the Kittim and what I mean by that is I'm not going to I'm not sure that that the Macedonians come out of Kittim son of Javan so then who are the Macedonians so that would be another video or maybe even like a series trying to investigate the Macedonians who were they so I think that's going to be it for this video hopefully you found it interesting on Kittim I know it was not straightforward and there is confusion out there with this but now maybe you're a bit more aware of that confusion and you can see what you think about it so yeah I think it, I just wanted to do, to do this video on Kittim because we are hopefully going to release those two videos at the weekend to, for the Roman Empire so I thought it would be nice during the week to kind of just get out minds thinking about Kittim and the Romans so yeah that was the idea behind that so hopefully hopefully some of that made sense and 
we're going to I might release a few other videos during the week nothing major because I don't want to get distracted or go off course before we do the ending of this series so thank you for watching this video and we'll see you in the next one